how do I know yeah. what my particulate matter um, exposure is? So think of just a human hair. The diameter of a human hair is about 50 to 70 what we call microns in diameter, in width. When you're thinking about PM10, you're thinking of dust, pollen, mold, and that's about 10 oh. microns. So think about the human hair diameter is about 50. PM10 is about 10 microns, a fifth of that maybe. And then PM2.5 is really one thirtieth, so to speak, of the diameter of a human hair. So we're really talking teeny, teeny, tiny, where you don't see it, particulate matter, which is PM2.5 microns. 10 is a little bigger, which is why dust and pollen and mold, you might be able to see some of that. But essentially, we can inhale both sizes, either PM 2.5, which is, you know, tinier and has more of an invasive effect throughout the body, and PM 10, which is a little bit larger. But both of those are inhalable. What we measure a lot of is PM 2.5, because the smaller ones we want to avoid as much as possible from getting into our bloodstream, and they're teeny tiny, get into our lungs and that type of thing. And so it's something to be thinking about when it comes to the air quality. Air quality index really does talk about the quality of some of these chemicals and the particulate matter. In fact, what they do is they, the air quality index, which was set up by the EPA, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, and it was a way to measure outdoor air contaminants. And they look at five major air pollutants. And this is all under the Clean Air Act. The first one would be ground level ozone, because we know ozone keeps air and gases, heat and gases close to the surface, which climate change is contributing to some of that as well, right? Combustible, petroleum-based um, type of burning. We know that part. Uh, the second one is particle pollution. So the first one's ground level ozone mm. that they look at and monitor for the air quality index. The second is particle pollution, which includes that PM 2.5 and PM 10 micron mm. part particulates in the air. Then we have carbon monoxide is number three and sulfur dioxide number four and nitrogen dioxide number five. 